I care. For, I mean, I like weather when it's not holding me back. Um, but I'm not a fan of drama in any form. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Hi, Metaton and Nick. Hi, guys. Um, give me just a moment. All right. I love every time I see a font that says sans now, I'm like, <laughs> um, this is maybe not my most mature or least fangirly moment, but whatever. I've never pretended not to be a desperate Undertale fangirl. So we've changed my microphone setup a little bit. So hopefully it'll be all right. If it's really annoying, let me know. Hi, Karyaga. Um, I've got it up here, which makes it actually a whole lot louder than the way it had been. Um, but I don't know. Are you have friends who don't know Undertale? Well, they might learn Undertale if they're friends with you for long enough, right? That's the idea. Mm -hmm. How is everybody doing? Are you guys doing all right? Because... I've had a very eventful couple of days, um, but what's today's date? Oh, eight, eighteen. I have a series of pictures that I upload for these things. Um, hey, Brennamania and Gabraham. Thank you, guys. Oh, Karyaga, that's funny. <laughs> well, thank you for liking my streams so much that you don't want to miss them. Hi, Adelsby. Thank you for hanging out early. Um, or rather, you were on time and I was late. But let me post and let the world know that we are finally live. Um, because it took me a while. Yes, the date. Because I save my things. Um, every time I stream and I post up one of those pictures... Um, I have them with a the date. Hi, Sirius Inc. Hello. We are going to see if we can finish Gone Home tonight. Sorry for the delay, but we had to wait until Zespera was available because she really wanted to see the rest of this because she loves this game and apparently she thinks it's funny. Oh, she actually was over here last night, so she helped me film the tissue box video. Did you guys see the tissue box video? Because I'm the coolest kid. Third day of school tomorrow. Very exciting. I I'm wondering if I'm I'm gonna see if I can teach next semester just a little bit. See how that goes. Um oh there we go. See look at that. See what a difference it makes when it's right by my mouth? But then like I'm like, I'm gonna eat it. I don't know that I wanna eat it. It's it's hard to figure out like microphone placement. Yeah, I know it is totally the tissue box thing, Sim. What am I doing? I don't know what I'm doing. Check this out. Uh you look like you're ten metaton. That's okay. Eventually you're gonna you're going to transform into your second form. And then everybody will be very impressed. <laughs> um, yes. Let me post up a thing and then we'll dive in. Hey, Cave of Wonders. What's up? We won't be doing another creative sprint stream until Monday, but we've got some gaming going on in the meantime. Um, so, yeah. Um, for those of you who are not part of my Discord, we had a little bit of community drama, but we are, um, it's under control, I think. Don't become a mummy. You'll be weak to fire and cure spells. And that's no good. I don't know. Hey, Xenon. See, this is why I'm waiting a moment. Got to give people a chance to show up. Winnie the Pooh slash what? I don't know what you're talking about, Xenon, but that's pretty complicated sounding. This game is a walking simulator. And I say that affectionately, um, in which we are a 
girl who has, um, she comes home from studying abroad to find that her family home is abandoned. And so she has to figure out by going through her house, looking at clues, what has happened in the past year and why her family's not there. Um, so yeah, this is our game. It's really good. I really enjoy the writing. I think it's really funny and sassy. Um, and hopefully those of you who haven't seen it before, if you've got any questions, um, just to let you in on some of the inside jokes, I, you can pick things up and throw them. So I've been throwing tissue boxes all around this game. Um, and our character's dad wrote a series of bad science fiction novels about JFK and science fiction and time traveling and stuff. So, yeah. Um... Yeah, shall we go ahead and dive right in? I think we're going to do this. Symbolic, what are you asking about? I'm sorry, but what? Oh. Yeah, so there we go. So you guys have to let me know what you think of the audio balancing here. Um. Oh, wait, I need to make, I need to make it so I can see chat. Give me a moment. It's going to take me a moment. Yeah, no, I think that this is a good game to learn from Zespera, just based on what I've seen. Um, and now having played a walking sim that wasn't... <laughs> Let's see. Why is this not working? There were some really amazing JFK jokes last time. I was very amused by them. Um, hold on. Okay. All right. We're going to dive in now with resume. All right. So yeah, let me know if the audio balancing or anything gives you guys trouble. I am going to have to get up at some point to let Knox out of the bathroom because I gave her um, wet food because she and Ella were complaining about being hungry. And I've been kind of worried about their health, so I fed them. Where am I? Where am I? Oh, I'm in the basement. Did my computer just freeze? Come on, computer. You've like never had problems with anything like ever before. Hang on, sorry. Gone Home is not responding. Hi, Blade! What? Hold on, guys. Sorry. Gone Home just froze. Is it because Discord is taking too much of my computer? I'm going to have to close Discord. I'm going to have to close Discord. Okay. Um... So I guess mods, can you keep an eye there and make sure that nothing terrible happens? I'm going to try this again. We can do this. All right. This time for real. Cross your fingers, guys. Because if it doesn't work, Zespera is going to have to help me troubleshoot. Because she's the one who made... Okay. Oh! Okay, so Sam is our little sister. Oh, hey, Bonnie! No, Brennamania, nothing's up with this cord. It's just that um, in case anything winds up being up, I won't be able to do anything about it because I'm streaming. Um, but yeah, so let's see. Dear Sam, today's Spanish lesson. Have you liked the drawing? I was thinking of us when I drew it. That's really cute. Hmm. Oh my god, that's right. So our, 
Our little sister wrote um, this epic story about a captain and her first mate who wound up both being girls in love because our sister, as it turns out, is in love with her best friend now. So let's see. <laughs> oh dear. Hmm. Oh goodness. Right, and there's a storm happening here. Hmm. Very cute. Oh wait, what is this? Wait, hold on. Something is wrong with the, uh... No. Hold on. Let me try to fix. I think that something went wrong with... We're going to capture the cursor. Sorry, guys. You're going to have to see my cursor. But hopefully that'll help make it work better. Where did it go? I wanted to look at the back. There it is. Oh, oh wait. No, this is the button. Okay. Have I been here already? Got to toss some things around. I already looked at that. Let's take a look. There's a set list over here, which I think we got already. See, it was Cub Scout, but now it's Girl Scout. Very cute. So this is the basement. Did I, I don't think I've done this already. Hold on. I have a hard time managing. <laughs> Listen to those chugging rhythm guitars. See if I can let Knox out while I'm listening to this. Let's see if I can walk this far. Nope. Okay. I'll be back. I can still hear that. That's how loud it is. Come on, Knox. Oh, that's no good. I'm knocking things off my desk. Okay, well, whatever. It's not my best idea. Ah, sorry guys. song has feeling. I actually don't know much Riot Girl music, so this is all very exciting to me. Well, that was angry. Oh, goodness. <gasps> oh my god, they got best friends engraved. How adorable is that? Bernadette Kabinsky. Oh, sales associate. Sorry, tell me if this microphone is a problem. Um. 
Yeah, I know that they're a little bit much for me too, but let me turn the gain down a bit. Is that better? Mm. Microphones are my undoing. Actually, just sound in general. Uh. All right. Do, do, do. Are you making fun of the way I walk? I can't help it. I'm kind of a goof. Oh my goodness, it's dark. Oh, I don't have that yet, do I? Hmm. Hmm. All right. Oh, that's right, I can crouch. I can review journals. I can check my map. This is nice of them. Right mouse or left shift. Oh, right. Okay, I forgot about this. This is good. Reminding me how to play the game. I'm really bad at this. Okay, so... First floor plan. That's right, because we had like a sort of creepy uncle. I am not reading a walkthrough. I am playing the game blind. So I don't know what the combination is yet. Hmm. Goodness gracious, this is dark. Okay. Oh, it doesn't work. What? You've got to be kidding me. Ah, uh, I have to go in there in the dark. I can't. I can't see what that is. Hmm. Can I get a flashlight? Looks like a pile of wood. Hmm. There's cobwebs. Looks like that's just a wood pile, maybe? Sorry guys, you have to hear me breathing really closely. Alright. Yeah, no, I love that there's like actual flavor text. Oh my god! Oh my god, guys, look! Look! Oh wait, Terry, this is the uncle, right? The great uncle? H6, 1957. Boy, he got taller. He was a little bitty, and then he stopped being a little bitty. Interesting. Hi, Knox. Oh, I guess Knox must have shown up, huh? Well, now I want to know. Did I did I look at that? There's a thing on the floor here. No, I didn't look at it. Hi, Knox. Knox is sitting with me. Oh my goodness. Having your narrator actually be a character <laughs> with a personality is fantastic. <laughs> that is so good. Oh my god, I'm really delighted. I just like she's just like nope, nope, nope. Which I mean, obviously that's what the letter was referencing. Um, but <laughs> my goodness, I'm a I'm a good sister. To be fair. I sure wouldn't want. Oh. I wouldn't want to read anything my sister had written like that. Be like, okay, I'm happy for you. Um. Anyway. <laughs> oh my goodness, that was pretty great. Is there something over there? Now I want to find everything. The thing is, this game rewards you for finding everything because it's really funny and touching. Mom's citizenship stuff.
That's right, okay. So, to flashback, so our dad is a bad science fiction writer, um, sort of a failed novelist who works as a reviewer badly and mostly gets drunk reviewing albums or products or things badly. Um, Mom ran off with, or it might be running off with a forest service guy. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, that's really cute. Masson's Pharmacy. Can I look inside? It's a ledger. What's in here? Oh, 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 goodness. Goodness me, that is somebody's ashes. <clears throat> I think I might have discovered that last time. We're not going to mess with our family's ashes. That is a recipe for disaster. Did I look in here already? Hmm. All right. So I'm trying to. Okay, I'm trying to put this together. This looks like that is suspicious in some capacity. But I'm not quite sure how. Oh no, Brennamania, that is a terrible thought. <laughs> like, you gotta crawl on the ground in case you can find your sister's really inappropriate for you to be reading diary entries. The sister's actually a really good writer, unlike the dad, who is terrible. The sister is basically great and I adore her. I also adore the main character though. She's like they're just they're just really funny, smart, clever, sassy teenagers. And like what else do you need from a character except sass and wit? <laughs> yeah, well I can't say Zisper, I can't say that I've actually gone looking for that, but I am now. Cause did you see that great? Reaction. Hey, Turbo Roman Cow. Oh, could somebody on the Discord let people know that I'm... No, we totally did. We, I mean, it was drunken stuff, but... Okay, wait. A letter from Granddad. Why don't I get to read it? Did I look at it already? Oh, wait. That's right. This was the, uh... Your book is garbage from Grandpa. Good job, Grandpa. Okay, so we saw she got this. Um, this looks so much like um, an old school catalog. Like, it looks really real. Could somebody give Symbolic a link to the Discord? I've got it somewhere on a... Man, I have a lamp that looks just like that one here. Hey, Kill Kid, you missed. Um. Oh my God, I missed this last time. This is why Grandpa thought that Dad's book was garbage because he's a Joyce scholar. Hi, Coraster and Jeremy. Okay, so you missed us discovering our sister writing really, really detailed stuff about her experience with her girlfriend that was really inappropriate. And so the main character was like, I'm not reading any more of this, and like refuses to read. Like you read it long enough to realize what it is, and then she's just like, that's enough of that. And she won't look at it anymore, which is pretty awesome. Um, that's right. Our sister. Hey, short, short. Our sister got into this. That's right, the summer program for young scholars, which then people are more likely to get scholarships um, to be students at this school. 
which is what we're hoping our or what our sister's hoping she can do. You know, Nick, you one could look at Paradise Lost as a fanfic of the Bible, so Good job, Milton. Yes, no, Sam is super awesome and has this amazing future in front of her. If our parents will just not. Course in practical pharmacy. Let's go where we can see this. 1943. That's okay, short. I don't know how. I don't know if this kind of game is up your alley. No, it's not a horror game. It's called it's called a walking simulator um, genre, which originally was something people said to kind of make fun of it. Like, all you do is walk around. But it's actually, I think, really fun because the whole point of it is to uh, figure out what happened. Man... Somebody's making a mess of things here. That's right. <laughs> okay, Nick, that's actually really funny. Yeah, because see, like, we're going to go into the rest of the house. And it's like, I'm creepy, but it's not actually creepy. Well, if you don't want it to be spoiled, um, I won't be offended if you're like, I think I'm going to leave and play this game myself. Scooby Doo, where are you? Do 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 do. That's right. Little sister and her girlfriend bonded over Street Fighter. Cause Super Nintendo. Oh hey, you can tell I've been here. <laughs> Oh. Mm. Right. Oh, that's right. Oh my god, my sister is the best. Oh my god, she's so amazing. How is she the best? I don't know, but I'm a big fan of my sister. I just think she's really funny. All right. Now there's got to be more stuff. This is because mom works in the forestry service. Yeah, well, Caraster, this one is good. Like, I feel like I'm spoiled because this one is so good. Although I've been told that Firewatch is excellent. So. I am totally. Oh, do we ever get in here? Oh, wait. Wait, no, guys. Yeah, I'm going to play Firewatch, I think. This, Mr. Masson, Oscar, is leaving it to Terrence. So wait, Oscar is our I'm I'm sorry guys, I have a really hard time keeping track of this sort of thing. And it's been a little while. This is our dad's pretentious writing thing. Oh that's right. We got in here and there was a secret bottom.
Like, why is that a secret? I don't know, but it is a secret. Yeah, crazy great uncle had his store stolen. Not to be confused with the house. Yeah, because the person who got the store wasn't Terrence, was it? And here's a secret. Passageway. Right. Yes. So wait, uncle is the... Oscar is the uncle. Is Terrence the dad? And then there was somebody else who got the pharmacy? Oh, this is too much. All right. Okay. Hidden compartments found. We got the one in the library. We got the one in the foyer. I think. Um. Yes, this is the library. Oh. This is Dad's bad book. No, this is not. This is a book he was researching. Never mind. Shows what I think of that, huh? Hmm. Yeah, and here we go. Yes! Oh my god, it's so good. It's actually well written, too, especially for a kid. <laughs> you can tell I've been here. Her. Tissue box. So to do the one across from her room... You know, I mean, we did totally discover evidence that mom is having an affair. Janice's mom. Oh, this might make more sense now, actually. See, ballroom dancing got scratched off, and I wonder why that is. Okay, so Terry is clearly dad. Right, I'm bad with names. Cook the big meal for Terry and Sam. How long ago was this? September. Right. Uh... There's the new the new guy. Yeah, no, I think that I think that the dancing being scratched through is a burn on dad. Oh, that's right, I already looked at this. So there's one near her room. Is it this? Right? I swear there's one near her room. Yes, no, this house is really awesome. It kind of looks like it might have creepy secrets. Sternly worded letter. It's super amazing. Oh my god. I totally wrote super serious. I actually was reading, I found an old journal of mine, and I was reading things that I wrote when I was 16. That was pretty funny. Space skeleton, yeah. I swear there's a panel somewhere near... Sam's room. Or is it this? Oh, no, I found it already. The Ouija board. Yeah, no, you're right, Nick. Yeah, no, having a having a secret passageway would be pretty cool. Let's see. That's right. We went through here. She dyed her hair. This is actually Manic Panic. But they can't put the brand on it. But it's clearly Manic Panic. Who here has ever dyed your hair with Manic Panic? I, just, I love... I love the amount of character. 
as she describes things. Is that a tissue box? No, it's toilet paper. Very nice. Wait, wait! I didn't realize that they made sets. That's good. Very kind. Got some nail polish. Just use toothpaste and then Lonnie rules. Yeah, I tried dyeing, dyeing my hair with Kool-Aid. It did not work. It, it, by the way, dyeing your hair with Kool-Aid doesn't work very well. That's right. This was going to be my, my room. Sam ran away from home. This is going to be my room. I want to like look up there and see if there's anything else, but I don't know that there is anything else. I'm going to creep along the floor. Look for anything I might have overlooked. I dye my hair now. That's right, mom became a painter, or had been a painter. All right, and then here is the dark room. Do not enter if red lights are on. And it's locked. I have to figure out how to unlock it. Can I turn that on? No. I haven't figured out how to do that yet. So dyeing your own hair, you can tell I've been here. <laughs> These are sound effects. Dyeing your own hair takes a little doing. And this is mom's boyfriend. The attic key was in the basement. Thank you, Nick. Somebody's got to keep me on task and it's not going to be me. I'm kind of refreshing myself on the family story while I'm here. Yes! Oh my god. She did such a good job. It's so adorable. They're so cute. And they're so totally working on their Halloween costumes. Look at what a good job she did. Seriously, look at that. Let us all for a moment reflect on how impressively talented our sister and her girlfriend are. was in here this is creepy old stuff oh my god this is so amazing <laughs> I still love the way they write like that's like my favorite thing about this god what an amazing house can you imagine having a house like this let's go into the basement we gotta find that key oh right mom and dad's room also, you can tell I've been here. Here is a friend saying, don't give up on your husband. Ha ha! Right. And this one doesn't work. Mom and Dad's room, yes. Yeah, the presence of ghosts. I almost said goats. That's not the same thing. I can't push the chair around. I guess I can't. What's that? Oh, probably nothing I can interact with. Let's see. Okay, we're gonna go figure out how to get to the basement. There's a way through in here, right? 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 Oh, geez, I'm so bad at finding my way around anything. Okay, this is the basement. I'm now in the basement.
I'm officially in the basement. Okay, so there's a thing I can't do yet. Right, so the room that I was in, I think, is significant. Where is it? No? Ha! Huh. No. There's ashes. Wait, wait, it's in here. Right, okay. Samuel Onstein. That is the person who bought this for no money. And that's probably a problem. Was it through here? There was another room. One of granddad's books. Wait, 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 wait. Um, map two. Servants' quarters, right. Right, okay, so everything's marked. To attic, which I can't do. I got that one. I did that. Hmm. That's locked. I did that. That's the room I'm in. So what's through here again? Is this the servants' quarters? Nope. Lauren, you're going the wrong way. Lauren. What are you doing? You don't know what you're doing. That's okay. We can't all know what we're doing. In fact, most of us probably don't know what we're doing at any given time, right? That seems fairly accurate. So this way, yes. Here's the servants' quarters. Guest room, Mr. Masson's room, front door, library, kitchen. Hmm. This I want, and I don't think I have a combination. And I don't know whose combination it is. And then it's dark and this light doesn't work. You know, there's the official staircase and there's the secret staircase. think right yeah because this is a whole secret area sometimes like her band and our zine and her hair and everything are all anti-authority but I watch her in JROTC and she's doing drills in perfect formation following orders no question and there's all this stuff in the news about don't ask don't tell like she's going to join the army and then have to lie about who she is she said they don't need to know what they don't need to know. Like it was no big deal. This from the girl who trashed her locker to like, defend my honor. I've learned when to stop arguing though. I don't think Lonnie even gets Lonnie sometimes. <laughs> That's pretty true. Lots of people are not the most self-aware. Girl justice now. 
Thanks, sis. Lots of chips. More bands. So I guess I must not have been here. I thought I'd been here, but I must not have. Because there's no way I wouldn't have picked things up. Right! Oh, man! This is really adorable. Look at how adorable they are! Oh my god, they're so cute. They made a zine. This one's for you. So adorable. Very nice. <laughs> oh, cool. Very nice. Yeah, I knew there was going to be something under there. All right. You guys ready for some heavens to Betsy? I, I want to make sure that I can like he hear story bits so let's go see if we can trigger some story bits ah this is her writing Drafting journal stuff. Where does this go? You know, I'm going to play around in here a bit more. What is this? A sock. Let's see. Yeah, well, what would you do if you had to carry a cassette all the way into another room? I want there to be more stuff. There's a sock! can't do anything with that sock. What's this? Another sock underwear. Come on. Alright, so what's through this? That's a secret panel. Oh, I see. Okay. So this is just a whole secret section. So what's this? Where does this go? To guest room? I'm beginning to have some suspicions about this. So this has been very thoroughly... Oh, wait, no. Wait, okay, that's creepy. That's creepy. Oh, my God. You can only open it from this side. 196.3. Okay, well, that's what we want. That, oh my goodness. Okay, that's creepy. That's creepy. <sighs> Where was that? One ninety six three. One ninety six three. Don't let me forget that. Hmm. Where was it? Is it in here? Yes. This is not going to be good.
Maybe it's going to be nothing. This is old. This has not been opened in a long time. Morphine. Why are you hiding morphine here? Mary Greenbrier. Sister. All right, which will be my last. Peel. Let's go. Answered one way or another. Hmm. So he got thoroughly rejected by his sister and his whole family. Very nice that she remembers where this stuff goes. Mm. Okay, well, I have theories. But I don't really want to voice them aloud because I don't want them to be right. Okay, so this is the side, the side of the house I can't get into. Has the dining room, the kitchen, the pantry, the laundry, a washroom, and the greenhouse. Greenhouse is not going to be creepy in this weather, no sir. Hmm. Well, let's go back up. Is this the right way? I think so. Yes. <laughs> Gabe, that's a great theory. I'm totally down with that. All right. So where are we now? Oh, we have snuck into the locked part of the house. Can I turn on a light so I can see what I'm doing? Yes, good. Hmm, how very interesting, though. Guardian angels up above bless this house with lots of love. Hey, Evie Chick! This game is really appealing. I, I really like it. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so mom got a promotion is what's going on here. This would mean she was she would no longer be working with her boyfriend. They had to have fun tracking down books from the 90s. There's a whole lot of stuff here. So I was such a bitch last night. Forest is like an hour away. Hmm. <laughs> Let's see. Uh-huh. <laughs> 
I don't know if I'm reading these things too uh, too quickly for you guys because I read really fast, or if you guys want me to read things out loud, which involves some swearing. And I don't do voices. I really don't do voices. Like I don't do voices well at all. That definitely makes the point that she does not want to live with her mom in Florida. That's kind of great. All right. Hmm. Oops. I want to find more hidden stuff. I guess I'm in an entirely hidden section of the house. So this looks like this looks like one of mom's. Uh, mom's paintings, maybe. What is this? National tickets. Earth, wind, and fire. Did mom go with her boyfriend? Yeah, I'm not a big fan of things necessarily being read out loud either, but... Ah! Ah! Here we go. So mom got snazzied up for a date. From the looks of things. Let me go ahead and unlock this door. I'm kind of afraid it's going to trigger something crazy, which is not how this game works, but... Shortcut! Man, there's so many places to go. So many things to pick up. <laughs> so it's not in here. <coughs> What's on here? Luggage tag. Sleeping bag. Yeah, hopefully no monsters are gonna spawn. I'm pretty sure that I'm not equipped to deal with monsters. Oop. Turn on some lights. Oh man, mom's purse. Mom left her purse? What? That's weird. Hey Mordecai, so this game is um uh the sum the, su the way that I summarize it is um so it's a walking simulator game um and so you are a college a college student um coming home from studying abroad for a year um to your parents' new home and you find that your family isn't there and so you kind of have to uncover the mystery of why your family isn't there um. And so thus far we have discovered that our dad is a really bad kind of hack sci-fi novelist um, who's got some issues. Um, Mom is in the Forest Service and having an affair with one of her coworkers. Um, and little sister, okay, so this is in the 90s for context, but little sister has discovered she's in love with her best friend who is going to join the military. Um, uh, and so don't ask, don't tell is a concern and things like that. So... Um, now I'm sleuthing around my family's super awesome, super ridiculous house, trying to figure out why mom's purse is here. Let's see what this note says. Two tickets. Ah! Who called it? Who called it? This is totally mom going on a date. That's why she got a manicure done. It's totally not Sam. It's mom. Oh, wait, wait. Is this... So, he's got a girlfriend. She's married and he's got a girlfriend. That seems questionable. Yeah, well, okay, I don't know if they're having an affair, but mom is definitely interested in this guy.
Let's see. Hmm. There's also a mystery involving the uncle who dad inherited this house from who has done some sort of horrible transgression that his family never forgave him for. Um, I'm not seeing anything in here and I'm trying. Um, what am I, what am I overlooking guys? Or rather, what have I forgotten to mention as we summarize? I'm going to go in there. That's not going to be creepy at all. Oh my god. Oh, she got suspended for her zine. That's amazing. Oh my goodness. Dad even has bad handwriting. Okay. I had an interesting talk with mom and dad tonight. Uh-oh. One you were never gonna need to have. I mean, you've known, right? I've known. I've known since, like, she -Ra. Mom and dad didn't, I guess. They saw the zine and stuff on the locker, and they were like, is there something we should know about you and Lonnie? And so here's the thing. I was prepared for them to be mad, or disappointed, or start crying, or something, but they were just in denial. You're too young to know what you want. You and Lonnie are just good friends. You just haven't met the right boy. It's a phase. That's what I didn't see coming. That they wouldn't even respect me enough to believe me. Well, joke's on them. Because they're in for one very long phase. Oh, dear. Well, good job, Mom and Dad. So, that's cool... I really love her reaction to seeing these things. So this is how we get to know her. Her handwriting actually kind of looks like my sister's handwriting. That's really adorable. I feel like I shouldn't just throw everything on the floor. But actually, no, never mind. You know, I'm mad at mom and dad. Mom and dad, you guys have been jerks to my little sister. You know what that means? Her. I'm gonna throw all the tissue boxes. All of the tissue boxes. <clears throat> and then I'm gonna raid your stuff. And raid your secrets and disapprove of them. Because you're jerks. <laughs> See, like, <laughs> good question, Elsby. See, this sort of thing, like, so mom's mom's friend is very interesting. Mom's friend is Canadian, cause mom is Canadian, and look at the way favorite is spelled. Hmm. So that's interesting. 
See, Mom may not be having an affair, but she's very decidedly interested in this fellow. Oops, I'm in the way. All right. Sometimes you have to close the door to, again to open it properly. I'm sure there's something symbolic going on there. Can't open those. Ooh, is this another button? Sam. Yes, no, Mom's friend is super into the gossip. Uncrumpled manuscript. The accidental warrior, huh, Dad? This was on the floor. I swear I didn't put it there. Let's make sure there's not anything under the table. Because I want to uncover all of my family's secrets. I think that's only fair, right? I mean, they did kind of abandon the household without telling me why. I'm concerned about Mom's purse not being here, though. Like, that's weird. Wait, where am I? Wait, wait. Did I do everything in here? Hold on. Yeah, I did look in there. Yeah, and it's probably good not to eat things that, that have been laying on the floor, just in general. Are there more lights in this house? Because it's dark over here, and I don't want to miss things. Oh, here we go. I hate when light switches aren't intuitive. Wait, the laundry is still going? Okay, so I'm going to find a tape in here. <laughs> See how much of this we can... can't talk when there's music playing. So that was Dad's bad book. Okay, so somebody's getting married. I don't think we know who that is. Sam schedule working at Crown Burger. So she's got a job. They must have had a lot of fun finding things that they could, uh, model, like, the wrappers off of. Apples, bananas. It's not a lot in this fridge, guys. Yeah, Rick is the forest hunk. Veggies, frozen spinach, more frozen spinach. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is just meant to be a blast from the past. Fish sticks! I actually liked fish sticks back in the day. I hate fish now, but... Yeah, you know, that's reasonable, Tony. Or, well, Zespera's friend, Tony. I may or may not have guess you could just like wreck this place if you wanted to. You just be like mom and dad, you guys you could just like do this. That's what I think of your rules. 
Actually, that's pretty great. Oh, it's broken. That means I can't get to the cookie jar. It looks like somebody has been going through here, though, because this drawer is supposed to be in there. Yeah, no, like, this this um, is a good example, in my opinion, of why the walking simulator needs to be a game genre and not just a book or a movie. Let's see. This is mostly empty. Somebody has been eating a lot of pizza in this house. Oh, there's a piece of paper. Samantha and... Danielle, I think is what that is. Okay, we're on an adventure. It's dark. Oh, we're having some trouble with Danielle's name. Oh, Daniel! Not Danielle. Daniel finally came over to get his game. I'd been dreading it. But he brought this story with him that I wrote when we were little. I started reading it. And then there I was, crying at the kitchen table. He asked what was wrong, and I was thinking about how we used to be friends, how much I'd taken for granted. But instead, I told him about school, and Dad, and Lonnie. And then how sorry I was that I wasn't his friend anymore. He gave me a hug and said it was going to be okay. But for yeah. some reason, I almost believed him. That's really sad and sweet. Good for him. Okay, Daniel, you, you've... You have proven yourself to be decent. That's good. Frankly, Sam could use some supportive friends who aren't just her girlfriend. Cooking low fat for the whole family. Mother's best desserts. Okay. Cool. Well, I'm glad that she has a good friend, you know? Like somebody's got to be there for her. I wonder if I wonder if he's helped with her running away. Okay, June, can he come some this month? I don't know if the book is clipping through the shelf. Anniversary trip. Rick's what? Oh! 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 Oh, you're right! You're absolutely right! Oh my god, yes! Yeah, that's Rick. That's that's mom's crush. Got married. And there's going to be an anniversary trip. Sam's going to go to the dentist. Charity junk pickup basement. Well, that's interesting. So that would be May. Wait, was there a letter I could interact with? Hmm. One of these days, one of these binders is going to actually have something in it. T today's not that day. Bye, Lucian! Um, is there anything else in this trash? Sometimes there's stuff in the trash can. Man, I'm just really glad that Sam has a friend. You know, man, this kitchen has seen better days. 
potato chips. You guys need to eat less potato chips. Like, I'm just saying you eat a lot of potato chips. Ha ha! Ha ha! That's really cute! Oh my god, they must have had a lot of fun with this. Oh my god. Sure is a lot of salad dressing. So I guess they're trying to eat healthily. <laughs> That's kind of amazing. You just like trash the house. Oh right, I I did that. And that. And that. They could be just drinking the salad dressing. That is possible. Oh my goodness. Hmm. Here's the green buyer. Hope this. Oh, this is his publisher. Weird and dark American outsider art. Oh my goodness. Interesting. Sounds like dad found his people. Well, that that's kind of delightful in its own way, I guess. I'm going to wreck, wreck things. Because that's what I do. So dad had his book reprinted. I'm actually kind of impressed that they trust her with this. She must have done a pretty good job pretending to be normal. Like, and by pretending to be normal, I mean behaving instead of being a, a punk girl. Yeah, serious ink. No, that's a fun that's a fun idea. Like they're clearly like <clears throat> they're delightful. They've got a sense of humor. They're well written. They think that his stuff is weird and fun. Is there something else in here? That's what I figured.
God, Lonnie. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> Max. What, that doesn't trig tr trigger a story bit? Hmm. And clearly, you just don't dig through the trash enough, Suspera. You know, it should have something funny to say, like, "Ah, oh, come on, Sam, or something like that. Well, let's see. <clears throat> so, Mom and Dad are off on their anniversary trip. <clears throat> Not going, can't make, send regrets. So, Mom, may maybe Mom has has given up on uh, on Rick. So, she's accepted... Um, a new position, which she'll have already started, and Rick is getting married. Um, so maybe she and Dad are trying to make things work. <clears throat> Dad seems to have found a publisher for his book, so maybe he'll finish the third one, which Mom says don't give up on. Um, but so are they out of town? Because they don't know exactly when Katie's going to come home, and I don't know what today is. But if they're out of town, then maybe my sister ran away and we're somewhere in the middle of that. Mom's purse is here, though. Hmm. I feel like I'm close to figuring out what's going on. But I'm not quite there yet. <laughs> There's the greenhouse. I haven't been there yet. Wait, this is not the greenhouse. This is the pantry. Lauren, can't you tell the difference between a greenhouse and a pantry? Silly head. I wonder if there are any more hidden panels. Went through there already. I went totally the wrong way, guys. Yeah, no, I guess it would make sense if she's left the purse. If she's not going to need it, but... Aha! Sent this one from Barcelona. <laughs> when did she send this? Do we get a date? So this would be on the 10th of May. Oh, man. Yeah, no, I think it is. That's why you've got a map. <clears throat> Last show ever. So this is on June 3rd, which mom... Lonnie had her going away show with her band tonight. She's so incredible on stage. When she was singing, I could practically forget everything that we only had 48 hours left that I don't know what comes next that I can't live without her then she dedicated the last song to me and I couldn't take it I was out on the curb in the alley sobbing till my ribs hurt I would follow her anywhere Katie but I can't where she's going. After a long time, she found me. She said she was sorry. She said, I wish things could be different. I just wanted to make you happy. I said, I don't think you can anymore. Yeah, that's, well, that's heavy and rough. Yeah, so I guess 
That's... Oh, man. I don't know. I think I missed Brennamania. Sorry, Brennamania. Thank you for coming by and for helping me today. like basketball guys. Look at that. <laughs> I'm <laughs> I'm very serious. Oh my goodness. Well <clears throat> Hey Law Dice You know, Sam is, like, extraordinarily precocious for her age. Like, sh that's a lot of insight that I wouldn't necessarily expect from somebody her age. To be like, this is not... Like, when she's like, I could follow her anywhere, but I can't follow her there. Cause she can't. So what is she going to... Is she going to run away to college? She can't run away with her girlfriend. She just said she knows better than that, which is smart. Oh my goodness. We're just going to do this because, you know, I think that's fair. Don't you? Oh. Didn't work. Anything under there? I don't I don't see anything. Um but there's some notes over here. make a really awful mess. <laughs> Alright. Oh wait, no, this that's not a note. Is this the only room in the house that there isn't anything here? <laughs> I'll show somebody. Oh, there is a note in there. Okay. I knew it. I knew it. I knew there was going to be a note. Yeah. Huh. And I mean, you probably shouldn't rearrange your entire life plans forever and ever because of somebody that you're in a relationship with in high school because people can change so much. So I cannot fault her for that. But, um, it sucks for Sam. Oh, sorry guys, do you want me to linger longer? I read really fast. So I try to take longer than I think I need to. Um... But uh, I've had people complain that I don't even read things. But I, I, I do. I just read really, really fast. So if you want me to slow down, I can. Well, I'm glad if it turns out that my sister didn't, like, put her entire life away because of her first love. But I'm seriously hoping that she... Um,
So he's got sticky notes in here, which indicates to me that he's been working on the accidental human. Oh! Anniversary trip. So she's decided that instead of having a crush on this other dude, she's going to make, make her marriage work. That's probably a good start. Oh... The cover art is really something that's funny. Hmm. Well, I wonder if he's going to get it published. The, I gotta admit, this is not the direction I thought things were going to go. I thought that, like, my family was going to just fall apart, and that was what was going to be the situation. <laughs> Good job, Dad. Examine map. Last night together would be our happiest ever. And we'd forget tomorrow was going to come at all. It worked for a while. We had a good time seeing Oscar off. Then ran up to the attic to look through our photos. To find one for Lonnie to take with her. And looking at them, I realized they were all in the past. And there wouldn't be any more. I didn't know what I was going to do. And I cried. And she held me. She said she knew it was hard, but life would move on. I said I didn't want my life to keep moving without her. That's when she cried too. I was so exhausted. I must have fallen asleep like that, in her arms. In the morning, I woke up. And I was finally alone. If any of you guys are in high school, I hope you won't be offended by my uh, nostalgic rambling about, uh, or, or, or I guess nostalgic isn't the right word, but talking about feelings uh, from when you're uh, when you're in high school. I don't mean to be dismissive. It's just a lot changes. Yeah, Nick, I was afraid of that, too.
the sunset light in this house is the saddest thing I've ever seen. I just want to sleep. When I'm in the attic, it almost feels like Lonnie could still be here. She's just downstairs. I'm just waiting to hear her pull down the hatch and come running up. Maybe I'll go up to the attic and wait. I feel like that's going to end the game. It is really interesting how things like that are different now that you have a better understanding of the characters involved, you know? That's really interesting. I do really like that. And that's, this is another way in which it would have to be um, interactive to figure this out. Hmm. So is Oscar's secret... Like, was Oscar's secret that he was gay and his family disowned him because of that? Oh, that one too. That does seem to be the implication. So now we know why they had a pillow fort and so much pizza because they couldn't really cook. sneaking out to see Pulp Fiction. I don't think I saw that, but I saw there's a note referencing that. I don't think I was as thorough about exploring things early on in the game. You know? The X-Files, that's Dad. Mom's old work mug. Right. So I hope you don't mind. I'm just, I'm really interested in looking at these things again in a new light, you know? So is the house considered creepy because... Like what was the, what was the thing though? Wasn't it like something weird happened in your house? Like I still feel like I'm missing something significant here. to death in the house. Was that Oscar's death and that's why they had to exercise the ghost? Hmm. 
Yeah, no, that makes sense. I think I probably tried this. I'm really, really bad at them. Yeah, no, I think that's a good point, Sirius. Think like, like we do think it's possible. That there could be a ghost. Yes. So good. Yeah, I'm just like thinking about this and like processing the story in the little bits. Huh. Hmm. Oh yeah, no, so this is this takes place in the nineties. Um in ninety five, I believe, so Well, guys, shall we do this? Shall we go to the dark room? I feel like that's... So mom's taking up painting. I think we got into the locker. I think we did. Oh, wrong way. God, this house is so big. I'm pretty sure we got into the locker. Didn't we? Yeah, we did. Yeah, because she's got cigarettes. That's right. Yeah, that's right. Gosh, Sam is a really funny <laughs> response to that. Also, that looks like shoplifting right there, doesn't it? That's still got that tag on it. But I can always find this. Maybe we'll reconnect with our sister. And she won't be, like, dead horribly or anything. Maybe she'll just be up here hanging out. Maybe. I hope. A lawn and burger basket. My mom collected those. Still kind of does. <coughs> attic in Lonnie and my old spot and I missed the first two calls I just barely caught the third one before the machine got it and it was Lonnie on a payphone she'd been on the bus to basic and she said she couldn't she couldn't think of anything but me and us and that she couldn't go through with it with the army and being a part and all of it and so she got off the bus in Salem she said, Sam, I want you to pack up everything you can and get in your car and come find me. And let's just drive until we find somewhere for us. And she asked me if I could do that. 
And I said yes. Yes. I mean, that's hopeful, but I'm still worried, and I hope that they... Kind of what I figured had happened. But That's really cute. Yeah, I've never actually done photography, so that's... Oh! That's a really sweet photo. I can't tell what that one is. I, I don't know. I don't know if I'm actually all that thorough, but... Yeah. Well... This is, this is clearly it. Katie, I'm so sorry that I can't be there to see you in person. That I can't tell you all this myself. But I hope as you read this journal and you think back, that you'll understand why I had to do what I did. And that you won't be sad and you won't hate me. And you'll just know that I am where I need to be. I love you so much, Katie. I'll see you again someday. Love, Sam. Well, <clears throat> hi, Rara. You just got the end of the game. Okay, these are excellent. Sam's voice actress did a really good job. <sighs> so. Yeah, no, I'm glad it wasn't a horror game. So, I think that this is an excellent example of how to do a walking simulator game. Like, it's really interesting because through the process of exploring different things, you get a different idea of what happens. This is a very big special thanks list. Some good names on there. Lulu Lamer McClendon. That's a good name. Yeah, seriously, I can see that. Oh my gosh! <laughs> They have a special thanks to their kitties. One of them is named Baby Kitty. Knox, you're my baby kitty. Yeah, I wonder what I would have... Oh, okay, that makes sense for her. Thank you, that makes sense. I, um... 
I did actually know some going into it, mostly because there was so much controversy about this game when it came out. And you know, I gotta say, um, people saying this wasn't my genre of game I can get, and people saying, I feel like this should have taken longer for the amount that I paid, because I think when it was new, people thought it was a little overpriced for the amount of hours you put into it. Um, those are complaints I can understand if you're not the right player for the game. But this is good. Like, this is a good, solid game. Like, this is a good experience. It needs to be interactive. Um, it's a really well-told story. Like, a really well-told story. I was wondering whether the people who hated it had any reason to hate it. Outside of, like, again, like, if people are like, this is really not for me. I totally respect that. But people hated it so much. And I was like, is there anything to it? to them hating it. And the answer for me is no. It's really quite well done. It's well presented. It's well made. Um, see, the freedom to throw things around, having, having recently played Everybody's Gone to the Rapture, so these games are going to be compared in my mind because they are two walking sim games that I played within relatively close succession. I need to play Firewatch because I've heard Firewatch is excellent. I'm not going to play Dear Esther because I've heard that Dear Esther is basically everybody's gone to the rapture, but less good. Um, yeah, symbolic. That's part of why people hate it. And I, I mean, for me, it took more than two hours. Um, and I understand if people were like, this wasn't enough for the cost. I can understand that. But there were a lot of people who were really mad about the subject matter. Like, there was a lot of that. Um, so... But I, I do really like, um, I feel like this is just the right size for the kind of game it is. Because there's so much detail packed into everything. And so for me, the interactivity is really good. Like, I'd, I, would, I would rather be able to throw tissue boxes, even if it's not emotionally congruent with the storytelling, than not interact with anything. And I like the scavenger hunt experience of picking things up and seeing that there's something underneath there. Um, instead of just having the notes there because then you're just clicking and you're not engaging with the game so much. So I think it's really important that you can interact with it. And sure, you can throw stuff, but that's kind of nice because you can put it all neatly back exactly where it came from. Or you can get really mad and be like, man, your parents are awful and I'm just going to make a mess of their house. And then you find out that they're actually kind of trying to do the best they can. And you're like, oh, maybe I shouldn't have trashed everything. Or maybe you are like, yeah, you know, this serves you right for being homophobic. I don't know. But for me, I actually really like that. Um, I like the interactivity. I like how much interactivity there is. I feel like that really makes the amount of detail I put into the game actually come together because you can really appreciate it, even if it doesn't necessarily amount to a lot. Like, none of the buttons actually do anything significant, if I remember correctly. But it's nice to be like, that's right, my sister really likes buttons. My sister really likes bands. It's merch for bands. Like, you know? So that's that's cool, and I really like that. Um um, and I can, I can understand Gabe, the, uh, the complaint about it, because like I said, it, it, it doesn't quite fit the main, the main overarching story. Um, oh yeah, well, I'm glad Evie check. So Evie check, I can't play horror games either. So, um, if you watch me, you won't, unless we accidentally discover a horror game, um, uh, my tolerance is really low. So that would be an unpleasant surprise for both of us. Um, but see, I part of what I liked about Gone Home, like I like the overarching story and I like the seriousness of it, but what really, really makes me love it so much is how witty the dialogue is. Like it's super funny a lot and then really serious where it's serious. And for me, um, actually this is where a lot of people have been telling me to play games that other people are like, that's too creepy. Lauren shouldn't play that. So uh, it's interesting. We'll see what happens with that in that regard. But yeah, no, so for me, because it was a very, um, like, because the tone of the game wasn't just one note, it didn't detract too much for me to be able to throw tissue boxes. Because you can be listening to Sam talk about really significant things, and while she's talking, you can see a hilarious and ridiculous thing that she wrote, or that her ridiculous girlfriend wrote. And, like, that doesn't detract from it. So for me, the humor and seriousness blend really well. Um, 
And so for me, it wasn't an attraction. And I'm sorry if watching me throw stuff around was frustrating for you. Um, I do agree, like, especially in, like, serious moments, it, it, it doesn't fit. And I felt kind of bad for doing it. Um, but, yeah. I'm, I'm interested in the fact that the parents get a happy-ish, we think, happy ending. Like, it's hopeful. Like, we don't know if they're going to be able to make it work, but they're trying. We don't know if dad is going to be able to get his novel writing career, like, to continue. But he's in a better place than he was, and he's got hope, and that's good. Um, and that's interesting because they could so easily make the parents out to be villains. And I never felt like the parents were like textbook evil. I was like, this is the era that we're in and this is what would happen. Um, and so it was plausible. But I, I was really glad to, uh, so I, because of the, the chat delay and stuff like that, I'm, I'm curious to see me playing what way? Like, uh, throwing stuff? Or going back and talking to things and seeing the little bits? Because it's the little bits that bring it to life so much. And it is, it is really hopeful. It's just, it's, it, I just think it's really a nice touch that, like, you think, you think you know, like, because I, the, the, the point that I left off, I was like, I know what's going to happen. I know what's going on. Mom has run off and dad has run off to look for her. Um, and little sister has run off with her girlfriend and everything's falling apart. Um, and that's not exactly how it went. So it kind of wound up with an ending that I expected but didn't expect in a way that I didn't expect to be surprised. So that was good. So even going into this, knowing some of the context. Because if you watched my uh, my graduation presentation, I was talking about what happens at the end of this game. I was guessing. Um... Um, but I was pretty sure I was right. And it turns out I was right. In fact, your sister does run away from home. Um, but I like how things, um, I like how everything ties together. Like, I'm really glad you guys didn't seem to mind too much um, when I had to go back and, like, look through a bunch of the old notes. And part of that is that it's been, like, you know, a month or so since I played this game last. But also it's really, really cool. And this is a thing you you can't, you can't have this experience authentically in any other medium of going back and having that layer of additional understanding change the meaning. Like if you're reading a book, you could go back and read a previous section and sometimes you do, but it's not quite the same. Or the characters can go back and look about look at something or think about something. But it's not the same because it's not your feeling of discovery. You're not the one making those connections. And here you really are. And that's really cool like that is so cool that I had this impression of the dad and then it's nice to see him be like hopeful and like like excited about his writing and I'm like oh actually maybe he's not what I thought he was maybe there's more to him and he's more likable and more sympathetic um and I felt kind of bad for making fun of him and that's just so interesting so yeah no this is a really good game and if these people have made anything else I would be happy to play it I think I follow one of the writers on Twitter I should let them know I like this game. It's a good game. Like, this is good. I would play more of this. And I, uh, I don't know. I'm happy to know that games like this are being made. And that Firewatch, hey, sorry, sorry, Estelle, you, you missed the game. We beat it. And now I'm just talking through my feelings about the ending. <laughs> Which is, I mean, hey, we've got plenty of time to wrap up and have feelings. But I'm glad, like, because Firewatch did really well, didn't it? Like, Firewatch did quite well, I think. I've heard a lot of people talk about it. Um, and so it's kind of nice to be like, this genre is clearly alive and well, and people can respect it more now, I think. I don't know. I think that's cool. I think there should be more games like this. And they should be good. So they shouldn't be made by the Everybody's Gone to the Rapture people unless they get some help with level design. Am I right? I think I'm right. Well, I have opinions. I know other people didn't have the same problems I did. Although it was interesting, after I wrote up my whole feelings on that, some people that I know were like, actually, we had the same concerns and we didn't want to tell you anything like that because we didn't want to, like, bias you. I don't know. It's interesting. I find it very interesting. So, yeah. Let's see. I wonder what's under options. Is there anything else secret? No. Okay. Well, I don't know. Like, <laughs> thanks, Nick. 
Hey, Dragon Pack. We just finished Gone Home. We're just talking about it. I don't know. There's really not a lot else. Like, there's not quite enough time for me to play another game tonight. Um, it's about half an hour before I'd have to shut down, and I should probably clean my house. But, um... Thank you guys. Like, like, does anybody else have any like input or any thoughts or something like that you'd like to point out about this game? I would be really interested to know if I've like overlooked anything or anything like that. Yeah, no, it was a really, I really enjoyed it. It is definitely not an experience for everybody. Like if you, I'm not interested in this genre, it will be super not interesting and super not for you. Oh no, sorry, Goody, we just finished it. This is the ending. We just finished it. We're talking about it. Um, yeah, no, I love the title screen. Yeah, no, I really did. And like I said, I would, I would without reservations play any game that these people made um, in the future. Um, yeah, no, I did miss what happened with Oscar. Um, there's a secret diary in the game. Yeah, no, I really enjoyed it. There's a secret diary. Interesting. Okay, so there's an entire section of the game. Because, yeah, I'm kind of dissatisfied not knowing the whole deal with Oscar. Um, so I'm wondering... Because I imagine I can't just, like, go back in and look for that. Yeah, no, they're pretty cool. I And I want to I wanna try Firewatch. Um, I've got a bunch of other games, including Snackian gave me a game about mermaids and flutes that I should really <laughs> play. Or mermaids and singing. I got all the clues. Oh, so still not you're saying I got the clues. I just didn't necessarily put it all together. Oh, wow, Nick. That is a lot of work. Yeah, so, well, so, so Oscar is clearly, um, yes, Aquaria. That's so ungoody, and I should play it at some point. Um, so Oscar is dad's uncle. Yes, Oscar is dad's uncle. And he did something that his family did not approve of, which I think my theory is being gay, but I don't know if there's more. Um, yeah, no, I think it's really cool that um, people can have different experiences with this game. Because um, I am super slow, and I miss things, and I get disappointed in myself if I miss things. But I would not think, I'm surprised I didn't think to throw something at the basketball. I didn't even notice the basketball hoop. Um, but yeah, like, I'm, I'm just, I'm curious what I missed about Oscar. Like, he and dad, Terrence, did not have a happy relationship. And I'm not entirely sure what that was all about. And I'm wondering if that's part of the clues that I'm missing. Because um, I know that um, Oscar tried to reach out to Terrence. Um, and so there's that, that uh, letter that's kind of torn. Oh. Sorry, Stolen Light is, is talking me through this. I see, I was afraid that that might go the direction that it goes. Um, is that, is that, is it, is it going the direction that I think it's going with the uh, secret door being creepy? Because I didn't want them to go that route. Um, so I decided to pretend that that wasn't an option. But if that's what happened, then that's what happened. Um, so... I would actually... I was, I was, I was like, they, 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 won't, they won't do that, not in this game. Yeah. Yeah. That's just surprising to me because that's a really awful stereotype. Um, and so I am surprised. Like, that's why I didn't want to. 
that that's why I didn't want to make that guess. That's why I reacted so strongly to that door, by the way. I was like, I hope that this doesn't mean what I think it means. Um, because I didn't want them to, uh, I didn't want them to do that because I don't want things to play to that, that, um, trope because it's a really problematic trope that leads to a lot of really awful assumptions in real life. Um, so, well, okay. I mean, that is, that is what all of the hints, like every single hint, including, um, I mean, not the specifics, but the general situation. There is. Yeah, cool. Oh, well. That's uncomfortable. But, um, but no, it's still really, really good. Um, that's okay, symbolic. I think the, at least for me, the implication there is that um, the uncle may have molested the father um, when he was a little boy. And so the family cut him out and the father doesn't want to have anything to do with him. Um, and he, uh, tried really hard to avoid putting himself in situations like that in the future, but nobody forgave him for it. And it wasn't until he died that, um, that anybody in the family had anything to do with the house. At least that's what all of the pieces indicate. Um, including like the creepy hidden passageway to the guest bedroom. So that's no good. Um, I'm sorry, symbolic. Uh, but I mean, I understand that's an interesting bit of story. Um, and it's an interesting thing to add and kind of gloss over in a way. It's a strange it's a strange decision. Like, it's a strange narrative decision, which is why I decided to discount my gut feeling telling me that that was what they were going for because I thought that they wouldn't go for that. But it sounds like other people at least think that that's what they did, and that does seem to be what they were doing. So that's interesting. Oh, there's things on sale? Yeah, I'm not buying any games right now, but... um. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah, no, so, um, <laughs> I guess, um, as far as games, so I'm going to keep doing Majora's Mask on Tuesdays, but I kind of like doing this, like, having another game going. Um... And I don't know exactly what's next. So I might do a poll to see what people want to see. There's a couple of really, really short games that are like one shots, even for a player like me. So would you guys be interested um, in like, like, let me see. I don't know. Where's my Steam? What is, what do I have in Steam? I have a game called Dex. I have Transistor. I have the Stanley Parable. Oh, we probably could have done a little bit with the Stanley Parable, as I understand it. Um, the Stanley Parable has like a lot of little bitty things. Um, and I have Aquaria. I have Loom and Monkey Island 1 and Monkey Island 2. Those are the games I have right now. Oh, and Ghost Trick. Yes, that's one of the games that people have recommended. Um, could try to do a Stanley Parable thing. You know, I might, I might do Stanley Parable, like, just, like, have, like, a, we're gonna do Stanley Parable now. I do want to do Ghost Trick. Thank you for keeping, wait, Ghost Trick is the one that's by the Ace Attorney people, right? Because I'm interested in, in that, but I'd have to figure out how to get my hands on it first. Um, unless it's on Steam, which would make life easier. Um, but yeah, okay, so we'll do, we'll do Stanley Parable next. Um, and I'll probably do the demo and then I'll play the game because I understand it's pretty short, so... 
Yeah, Serious Inc. That's the trouble. So apparently you can do something with the DS, but you have to kind of like either mod your system or plug it into a television and use a capture card on that or something like that. Or I could emulate it, which I guess would actually probably be easier. Oh, it came out on iOS. That doesn't do me any good, though. Alas. Um, yeah, well, the thing is, as I understand it, Stanley Parable has, there's like, a, like you can play through it multiple times. So we might just have like Stanley Parable Day. Um, hey, Empty Cognizance. Yeah, so let's let's do that. Let's let's do Stanley Parable next. I I don't know. Thursdays are good. I think maybe we can do that next Thursday. I make that a day. I do want to get Firewatch at some point, but I might do one of these other games first because I don't <laughs> spending money. I'm trying not to do so much of that. Um, okay, cool. Because I kind of like having Thursdays, Fridays open sometimes to do games and sometimes to do other things. Obviously, Thursdays are good for you guys. Um, Fridays are kind of fun, too, occasionally because there's a slightly different crowd, too. So, okay, well, just keep in touch with me on Facebook and Twitter and the Discord. And those things will um, make it so that you can know what we're doing and what our plans are. Juggling meetup. Juggling, that's pretty cool. I have not played the Talos Principle. Should I? Because I've heard that. Why have I heard of that game? Who is that by? Yeah, Nick, no, that's a good question. Uh, or a good point, rather. So I wonder... Um, Talos Principle deals with AIs. Oh, I do like that sort of thing. The demo for it. Okay. Is the demo a separate thing? I am interested. So. Serious Sam. I know that name. Um, okay, well. Sorry, I'm reading what you guys say. Oh, okay. Nice, Serious Inc. Okay. Well, so I'm really bad at puzzle solving like I'm really not good at puzzle solving but if I have the internet and a chat and you guys are willing to help me get hints like little hints here and there like that would be doable and if it has like an interesting story and things like that excuse me so, okay, so we've got tons of options. Steven's sausage roll. I don't know. That doesn't, what, I don't know what that is. Yeah, and I'm really bad at puzzles. And I generally find them stressful. Um, but uh, it's good to have hints. Like Majora's Mask, I've gotten a couple of hints, which are really nice. That's not even a puzzle game, but you know what I mean, right? Steven Sausage Roll. Like that name sounds problematic. Like that sounds uncomfortable. Here, I'm going to give you guys my social media type links and stuff so you can uh, hang out with me and know what I'm doing and stuff. Because um, these things will tell you when I do things next, just in case you're not already following me or hanging out, um, you're super welcome to hang out in Discord. Like I said, we had some drama recently, um, so you might step in that a bit. But yeah. Oh my goodness, Serious Inc., have fun with Kitty. And yes, so music on Saturday. Um, I will probably not be singing very much because I've got to do band practice and then a show. And so I've got to save my voice. Um, oh! <laughs> Cognizance. Oh my god, that is a really amazing pun. You get super points for that. That's really amazing. Okay, well, I'm glad it's not lewd. This with that um that movie that came out. Uh, I've been kind of on edge about that. <laughs> well, well done. Well done. You managed to unintentionally make a brilliant 
Perfect pun. Excellent. Well done. Um, a nice follow up goodie. But yeah, yeah. So music on Saturday, Majora's Mask on Tuesdays. I'm thinking about doing more cooking stuff on Sundays so that I actually cook dinner because I haven't been cooking and I haven't been eating except for occasionally like cookies and slim fast. Like this is my life. It's been bad. So I need to get back in the habit of cooking. So I will do more cooking lessons. So if there's a thing that you want me to teach you how to cook, let me know. And I will start planning some cooking lessons for Sundays. Not like as like an every week thing, but as a sometimes thing. So that maybe I'll actually make food. So yeah, just let me know what you guys want. Because I don't want to go totally stream happy and go out of control here. But it's kind of nice to do this sometimes. So yeah, but no empty cognizance. That was an amazing accidental pun. Like I would high five you. I need to make a high five remote. So I can be like, high five me. And you can be like, high five. That'd be good. Yes, we are doing, oh, that's right, Mondays are our, our creative sprint streams. Yes, all these things. There's so much going on, too much going on. And for now, I feel like I should shut down so I can clean my house and get ready for bed because I didn't sleep enough last night. But thank you guys so, so much. Okay, yeah, we can do, we can do spaghetti. We all do spaghetti at some point. That sounds like a good choice. Um, okay, well... Oh, yeah, no, it was it was fantastic, Empty Cognizance. Like, it was a fantastic game. I really, really think very highly of it. Um, and I will probably write up a big, long rant about why I like it and why it's better than everybody's gone to the rapture. Um, and, yeah, it's really super fantastic. It's really well written, and the level of detail is amazing, and I really enjoyed it. And if you want to sit around and chat about it more, I'll be happy to do that. I just probably won't be on the camera because I got to clean my house. So good night, everybody. I'll see you at another time. So take care. Bye. 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 Good night.